Morning, everybody. Uh, Captain Mike Colwell. I'm here to give an update to an incident from the downtown Holiday Inn from June 21st of this year. Uh, take you back to that incident a little bit. Basically, officers were dispatched to that location at about 3 a.m. for a disorderly subjects call where a hotel staff member had been assaulted uh, by some individuals who had been in a hotel room. Um, as officers arrived, the individuals were fleeing from a parking garage that's located to the north side of the hotel. Officers attempted to stop that vehicle, uh, and in that attempt to stop the vehicle, an officer was pulled alongside of the vehicle, uh, and the vehicle was eventually uh, forced to stop when it was blocked in by another vehicle. Uh, at that time, officers uh, forcefully removed the driver of the vehicle and took that subject to the ground where the defendant was handcuffed. Um, that incident, um, like the chief said, with all use of force incidents is investigated fully by our department. Um, during our review of that incident, it was reviewed by the officer's chain of command it was also looked at by our defensive tactics instructors and also uh, the incident was reviewed by our internal affairs section. Um, during that review process, we also received a formal complaint from a citizen in regards to that use of force. Uh, because of that formal complaint, the chief thought it was important to reach out to the South Dakota DCI to have a outside review conducted as well. Uh, we now have the results and the findings of all of those reviews um, and the officer's actions uh, in regards to that use of force were all deemed to be reasonable based on the circumstances that he was encountering that night and the resistance that he was receiving. Uh, so based on those reviews and the findings, uh, his use of force was deemed to be appropriate within department policy and following state and federal laws. Um, you know, anytime you, you see videos on social media, um, it's concerning to us as well as I'm sure it was to members of the community. However, a lot of times those videos only contain short bursts of what actually occurred. Um, so it's just important that, you know, we're afforded by the community the time to go through and review all of the video that was available to us through either body cams or car footage and all of the officers' reports who are on scene. And sometimes that takes an extended period of time. So we just appreciate the community affording us that opportunity um, to make sure that we're reviewing that incident and, and making sure that it's a, a quality incident and what the community expects of us. Will the police department be releasing any further footage to detail the scope of the incident? We will not be releasing the video footage. Um, the video footage is just like police reports. It's protected under state law. Um, and we haven't released video footage or police reports in the past, and, and we just won't be releasing them on this incident either. I don't remember, was the officer hurt that was dragged, or how did? The officer was not injured during the incident. Uh, any other questions about the incident? What's next for? The formal complaint it, now that DC so the formal complaint has been unfounded by our department um, we have advised the complainant of that um, and all of the complaints that the department receives are posted uh, on the department's website so any community member that wanted to see what type of complaints the department receives and what the outcomes of those are could go on the siouxfalls.org and can actually read those complaints that we received and what the outcome of those investigations are and they usually contain like a small synopsis of what occurred um, as far as the individuals that were involved with the assaults all of their court cases are still pending so there's not a lot that we can say about that because that's still going on in the court process like you're saying the use of force was justified because what the defendant's actions was trying to flee, so that's where they are. Absolutely. So the use of force that was used by the officer was reasonable based on the circumstances that they were encountering at the time and necessary to take the person into custody to hold them accountable for their actions. Just to be clear, can you state the department's use of force policy? You so your question is what is the department's use of force policy um 
I believe that the use of force policy is available online. So if people want to go online and actually read the entire policy, they can. Just an overview of the use of force policy would be we're like other police departments. We follow the reasonableness standard that was laid down by the courts through Graham and Connor, but it's the use of force is a continuum. It, you know, officers are allowed to start at the bottom or the top or the middle, whatever is appropriate for the situation that they're encountering at the time. Any other questions? All right, thank you. <laughs>